time travel is possible. Einstein's theory of relativity tells us that if we travel faster than the speed of light, we can travel to the future. Ever heard of traveling to the past? Using wormholes, the method is unstable and might be a one-way trip. But we can, using a concept called the quantum eraser. But first, we need to know how everything around us works first, by knowing how subatomic particles work. Because everything from this planet, to humans, to the cells in our body, are made of subatomic particles. So by knowing how subatomic particles work, we know how the whole universe works. After we play video games, we get a specific score. But the game has many other possible scores, just that after we play, we know which particular one we got. Same with subatomic particles. They have many possibilities for their position, which can be calculated using the Schrodinger equation. The Schrodinger equation gives us the wave function of the subatomic particle. Square it and it gives us all the possible positions of the subatomic particle. Now once we try to know where the particle actually is, all the possibilities separate from each other, letting us only see one of the possible positions. But that doesn't mean that other possibilities don't exist. It's just that they are experienced by other versions of us in another universe. So as we keep looking at everything around us, new universes form as the possibilities of anything happening separate by making us only see one possible universe. But after the possibilities separate, we can't reverse its action. But here's where things get fun. There's a way to change the past by changing the present. Let me show you a simple demonstration. Imagine identical balls and two ways leading to two holes. Let's say that each ball has the 50% possibility of it going through the left path or the right path. So as the balls go on their paths, the possibilities separate. Now, if an obstacle is added to each other's paths, some of the balls will be kicked to the other hole. Since all the balls are identical and the information of which way they came from is mixed up, we can only predict where the boss came from by combining all possible results, which gives us the same wavelength pattern we had before. So even though the possibility is separated, it is as if the boss went back in time and carried both the information of going through the left and right path at the same time. Our action of adding the obstacle after the boss separated erases the information of the separation and preserves the wavelength pattern and the connection between the possibilities. So this is a delay choice quantum eraser. Scientists now are discovering more about the very small because as I previously mentioned, the very small particles make up big organisms like us and everything in the universe. So if subatomic particles can travel back to the past, can we humans one day do it too? Thanks for watching.